All right, let's head down to Houston and see if Grapeland can join Tatum in the Alamo City. Two A semis, the third ranked Sandys taking on number 20 Schulenberg. First possession of the game, Riley Murchison swings it over to BJ Lamb and the senior doesn't hesitate as he knocks it down from downtown, setting the tone for this contest. A little later, Murchison drives, dishes to Lamb on the baseline. Quick pass to Kadarian Wiley who double clutches and scores for the Sandys and he was just getting going, folks. Plenty of Grapeland faithful made the drive as then Wiley's going to make the steal at midcourt. Takes it strong to the hole and yes, sir. He lays it in off the glass and draws the contact for the and one. Mr. Wiley making it his own show in the opening quarter. Here he is again. This time he's going to take the Euro step and use the window for two more of his 19 points. Sandy's opening the game on a 13 to nothing run and they kept pouring it on. Mike Dancer tosses it back to Murchison who is money from behind the arc. 23 points for the sophomore. Then off another turnover. Check out Lamb. Can we say play of the night nominee, ladies and gentlemen? Beautiful up and under move. He added 19 points. They led 26-6 at one point, and it would be 45-29 at the half, folks. Grapeland was dominant tonight. They cruised to a 74-60 triumph. The Sandys will face number two ranked Clarendon for all the marbles at 10 a.m. on Saturday. Fight every day, work hard, you know. We just happy to be here, happy to keep playing, and just, just put us on the map, show us what we what we come in to do. Talking about it since the start of the season, since my freshman year, we've been talking about getting a banner and we fell short last year to Shelbyville, so it just, it feels great to be able to do that. We got the, the best community, the best fans in the state of Texas, bar none, any level. And I'm so happy for them and the pride that they feel uh, that this team's able to help instill in them. And, you know, we're hoping that we can bring the big trophy back to Grapey, for sure. Congratulations to both teams. And don't forget that the Martins Mill ladies face Lipen in the 2A state title game at 10 a.m. on Thursday as they go after their seventh state crown in school history.